Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about what is called a second order linear homogeneous reconciliations. Ok, so let's start. So what we have, if we have a sequence of numbers, so for any sequence a n, for we have a sequence which first term start from n equals to 1 and going on in this way so a1 a2 a3 and so on so if we have a sequence a n and if the n term of the sequence so n term of the sequence can be written as some c1 which is a real number c1 is any real number into a n minus 1 plus c2 into a n minus 2 so c2 is another real number and a n minus 2 is the n minus 2 term of the sequence so any term of the sequence can be written as uh, some expression of n minus 1 a term and n minus 2 term so this is a recurrence relations so here we have a1 a n equals to c1 into a n minus 1 plus c2 into a n minus 2 so c1 and c2 are n real numbers so if we can write the any term of the sequence in this way and obviously n greater than equals to 3 n must be greater than equals to 3 otherwise if i put n over here so what we get uh, if n is less than 2 so here we get the some negative value or the zero so that is not allowed to so this is also be true also one condition is very important c2 must be not equals to zero so the c2 obviously a real numbers but it is a non-zero real number that's the very important thing otherwise we will not call it is a second order linear homogeneous equation so c2 is non-zero so for example if i can if i take c a n equals to a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 so this is one of our example of second order linear homogeneous reconciliations here c1 if we compare with this equation c1 is 1 and c2 is also 1 so this is our uh, one of the example of uh, second order linear homogeneous reconciliations ok if I write a n equals to a n minus 1 so here if I compare it with our equation so what we get c1 equals to 1 but c2 equals to 0 so it can be written as 0 into a n minus 2 so is this a second order linear homogeneous equation obviously not because we have a condition c2 must be non-zero so here the c2 is very important c2 is zero so this is not our example of a second order linear homogeneous equation so be very careful about that so is this a second order linear homogeneous equation if i write a n equals to 2 into a n minus 2 so what we can write it can write 0 into a n minus 1 plus 2 into a n minus 2 so c1 is 0 if i compare with this equation so c1 is 0 and c2 is 2 which is non zero so we can write a n as a uh, n minus 1 a term constant into n minus 1 a term of the sequence plus c2 into n minus 2 a term of the sequence so here we get a non zero so this is a second order and obviously so this is the form of uh, the given form so this is one of our example of second order linear homogeneous equation this, so this is also one of the example we are talking about so let me give you some another example with particular values so for example if i talking we are talking about the equations so let me erase this first so just erase this first so i think you remember about the fibonacci sequence so start from one and goes on in this way so if you know just let me give you what is called a Fibonacci sequence so Fibonacci sequence with the first term which is a1 a term of the sequence is 1 second term is the a2 third term is the addition of first and second term which is 2 so this is a3 third term is addition of 2 and third term which is 3 so we get a4 a5 is the addition of its two previous terms so a3 and a4 so we get 5 so next 3 plus 5 we get 8 so this is the a6 and so on in this way 
so here you can easily check that it's uh, we are constructed in this way it's the Fibonacci sequence so it's the any term of the sequence so if I write the any term of the sequence which is a n so let me erase the first the red one portion so a any term of the sequence can be written as a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 obviously a 1 is 1 we are taking a 2 is also 1 and we are talking about this recurrence relations when n greater than equals to 3 with initial value a 1 is 1 a 2 is 1 so if I put n equals to 3 what we get we get a 3 so what is the value of a3 we know the value of a3 is 2 so we just put over here so what we have to do uh, thus it is can be written as a, a previous two terms so yes we can write is 1 plus 1 so a1 plus a2 so it satisfy our equation so what about n4 if i write n4 so what we get a4 a4 is is 3 over here so it can be written as so 3 does it written as a2 plus a3 so yes you can write you can write is a2 plus a3 how or oh, sorry a3 plus a2 what is a3 a3 is 2 and a2 is 1 so you can see that this also gives 3 so in this way if I put a n equals to 100 so we get a hundred so a hundred can be written in this way that a ninety nine plus a ninety eight so that's how the Fibonacci sequence work so now if I compare these equations with our general equations so what we get we get if I compare what is the coefficient of a n minus one at term here we get have one and here we have c one so what we get so c one is so if I compare with A, so C1 is 1. So here also the coefficient with A n minus 2 term is 1. If I compare with this equation, so here we get C2. So C2 is also 1 which is non-zero. So you can see that A n can be written as some constant C1. C1 is 1 over here, A n minus 1 plus C2. C2 is also 1 over here into A n minus 2 so this is one of our examples so this is what we call this is what we call a second order linear homogeneous recurrence relation so this is our second order so second let me write the second order homogeneous homogeneous linear recurrence relation so I don't write it for that part so uh, all uh, goes in this way so let me give you another example of second order linear homogeneous recurrence relations so just first let me erase the Fibonacci part so Fibonacci if I erase the Fibonacci part so what we get over here so here we go just let me erase this part I'm taking your time I'm sorry for that but uh, we have to go through all this process of erasing yeah I can erase this from uh, editor but I just want to see you so how we e erase this part so let me give you another example of uh, example of second order linear homogeneous recurrence relations so here we go so here we have an example so we start with one again so second term will be two what we do we multiply the second term with two and then add so a1 is one a2 is two so what we do we multiply a2 with two plus one so what we get so we get five so next what we do so a3 is 5 next what is there if we multiply 2 with 5 then add with a2 so we get 12 so a4 next we multiply 2 again with a4 plus at a3 so 24 plus 5 is 29 a5 so in this way we are going on so this is how the sequence is going so you can easily check that so what we do over here we write the n term of the sequence a n as n minus 1 at term a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 no 
Oh yes, we write is as 2 into a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 with a 1 is 1, a 2 is 2 and obviously we are taking about all a n greater than equals to 3. So put a n equals to 3, what we get? a 3. So what is the a 3 over here? From here a 3 is 5. So can I write is the, it's in this way so if I write then it will be a2 into because if I put n equals to 5 over here here we get a4 so a4 sorry n equals to 3 over here so sorry for that so what we get over here so we get a2 so n equals to 3 so it will be a1 so if I put the value a2 is 2 so we get 2 plus a1 is 1 so we get again 5 so it's correct so if i put n equals to 5 so for example i just put n equals to 5 what we get a5 which is 29 over here so it's 29 if it satisfies the equations this equation this this can be written as 2 into if i put n equals to 5 over here then here we have a4 2 into a4 plus a3 so what is the value of a4 a4 is 12 so 2 into 12 plus what is a3 a3 is 5 so also we get 29 from also here so here we get 29 also here we get 29 so by this we get 29 and also we get 29 so this satisfies the equation so for any n value of n greater than equals to 3 we, uh, we get this equation this type of relation so this is one of our example of second order linear homogeneous reconciliation is this so so what is c1 over here so if i compare this equation with the equation uh, we write written over here so c1 is the coefficient of a n minus 1 at term so here we have 2 so c1 is 2 over here what is the coefficient of a n minus 2 here is 1 here we have c2 so c2 is again 1 so which is non zero so clearly this is second order and obviously it's a linear and a homogeneous recurrence relation so this is our example so this is what we call so this is just what we are calling the our second order so this is what we call our just let me i just want to draw the arrow over here so this is what we are talking about our second order linear homogeneous recurrence relations i hope you understand all these things so next what we do we're going to find a method by which going to solve uh, to find out the general term of the sequence uh, from a recurrence relations okay so we talk about that in our next session so just i just want to stop over here